Before this video starts, I just want to point out that I now actually live stream daily on Twitch. I'm sure you guys all do have Twitch or do just watch some of the streamers over there. So I thought I'd just let you guys know that I am now streaming every single day. So what I want you guys to do is to quickly go into the description of this video. I will link my channel right at the top where you guys can go and drop me a follow. It literally takes two seconds. If you guys are maybe on your phone right now, maybe you're on a computer, you can literally just load it up in a new tab and quickly just drop a follow. It's all much appreciated. And the content which you don't see on my YouTube channel, you will see over there live. So I just thought I'd quickly plug that. Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about three reasons why your Fortnite game actually may be crashing. For this season of Fortnite, the server's performance in the game has just been at an all-time low. People's games have been crashing more than ever. And I thought I'd just have to make a video on this and give you guys all the reasons I currently know as to why this could potentially happen to you guys if you are experiencing your game crashing. Some things I'm also going to mention in this video will also help you to fix FPS drops and your game hitching. So if your game does get FPS drops or any lag spikes. Some of the things I will go over in this video can also fix that and could be reasons as to why you're getting such lag spikes. If you do go ahead to enjoy the video, you know what to do. Drop a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Remember code fetch in the Fauna IM shop. I'm going to be shouting out anyone who uses my code and just simply sends me proof over on my Instagram account. But with that all being said, let's hop straight into the video. first reason in which we're actually going to be talking about as to why your game could be crashing something you guys have probably all done and it's probably the main reason as to why your game is receiving such crashes or maybe even fps drops and that could be all down to you overclocking your graphics card i know overclocking your gpu can sometimes and in some cases be a great thing to do but with the current state of fortnite and how everything is currently running even if you used to run on a stable overclock something in relation to both the game and msi afterburner which is the application you would usually use to overclock your graphics card could cause your game to actually crash this is solely because as i've said fortnite performance is currently at its worst state a lot of you guys will naturally be receiving lower fps and less consistent frames in fortnite and due to this your graphics cards are probably going to be bottlenecking if you're also trying to then overclock it's only adding more stress to your graphics card so with that extra weight already on your graphics card solely from the game and just the extra stress on your hardware from overclocking this results in a bottleneck and this is where your graphics card just can't take it anymore and that will result in your game just simply crashing also is probably the reason some of you are getting unloaded textures so even if you do think you have a stable overclock of how fortnite currently is it's kind of hard to get a good overclock even if you're gonna lower it you're probably still gonna get crashes just having that application open alone the one fix would just be to simply uninstall msi afterburner or to simply auto reset it and just get rid of the overclock completely this will give less strain to your hardware your gpu and most likely in 80 percent of cases stop your game from actually crashing but this is something i can suggest and this actually did work for myself when I was using my old graphics card. And also talking about graphics cards, that brings me onto the next reason as to why your game could be crashing. And that is solely because your hardware or graphics card is probably fairly low end and it's just too weak a hardware for the game to currently run. I've already mentioned in this video about how hard Fortnite currently is to run and the state of the game and performance. So if you do have a low end graphics card, maybe a 1050 Ti or below, this could generally just be the reason your game is crashing. I recently had to go out my way and buy a new graphics card. So I now have the 2070 Super and this is solely because my game could no longer run fortnite how i wanted it to my fps was nowhere near stable i was getting countless amount of fps drops no matter how much optimizations i had made i was always getting unloaded textures and my game would now and then crash so it can literally just be down to weak hardware and performance to the game is only getting worse and worse so at this moment in time the game is only getting harder to run so unless fortnite do make a performance update frames will only get worse and your game crashing will only become more predominant so that could also be a reason so maybe you might have to go your way buy a new graphics card which again is kind of hard to do with everything going on in the world right now and also money is a factor to that which is kind of an issue and the last and final reason as to why you could be getting fortnite crashes or your game could just generally be lagging is actually for those with nvidia graphics cards if you have an nvidia graphics card by default within your control panel there is actually a feature within the manage 3d settings tab which is called image sharpening automatically this is set as on so what you will need to do is go ahead and turn this off so literally just disable the feature and that 
right there will probably stop 70% of the crashes you are getting and also could be the only reason you are receiving these crashes. And if you're maybe not crashing, even having this on can actually affect frame rate and also give you hitches and lag spikes to your game, which is why I really wanted to mention this one. Code Life, big shout out to him. He made a full video talking about this. I will link it down below at the top of the description. Therefore, you guys can actually go and watch that and learn a little bit more about why this setting is so useful to actually turn off. If anything else, any of the other reasons I've covered in this video did not help you and did not work, this right here will, and you should be all fine. But that is all for this video. That literally wraps up everything. I just wanted to make this video to get it across, so I wanted to kind of just push it out and help some of you out. If you did watch to the end, I'm surely doing my job right, so dropping a like is the least you can do and will really support the channel. Comment down below, let me know if this helped you in any way, shape, or form. Remember, you can subscribe with post notifications turned on, therefore you never miss an upload on the channel, just like today's video. Remember, code FETCH in the Fortnite I am shop. You can send me proof over my Instagram, therefore you can receive a shout out, which I will be doing in my next video. But with that being said, been your boy Farfetch. I hope everyone has a good day. I hope everyone is staying indoors. And yeah, peace.